We got to get Aloha in here, man. I sent him an invite. Actually, I, I got a hold of him. I don't know if he, he's going to come or not, but I, I sent him a message. Shut up. No, shut up. It's hard to work two cameras, eh? The moon moves pretty fast, and it's always coming out of one screen or the other, and then you got to run to one, run to the other, always, <laughs> always adjusting. Like, I remember it was pretty tough. The weirdest part is that it uh, appears to be illuminated with the infrared camera. Yeah. When it should be the opposite. Um, I don't know if you could hear me when you were uh, on a different screen, Angels. The These giant uh, observatories, those giant telescopes, they would be big enough and powerful enough to throw a light onto the moon and create an artificial shadow. Really? So, so no shadow? Sorry. Yeah, no shadow and, and shadow. Wow, cool. The IR is cutting right through the shadow. Yep. It's called a thermal shadow. So what? So just so one. Why don't you, if you explain it again to, to more people that are in the chat for you, and then we got new people. Dirt just got up. Explain it again, what's going on, so people will get a good idea. All right, so there's a total lunar eclipse happening. I've got a, two cameras set up. This one, no infrared. This one is full spectrum. So um, <clears throat> this lets in all wavelengths of light, and this has, uh, you know, just no filters and stuff. So we've got the shadow of the moon happening right now, the supposed shadow. And in the sky, I can barely see the moon. It's completely almost covered by the supposed shadow. But I'm seeing on this camera, the face of the moon. Okay. I'm seeing it. We, we can all see that. We can see the face of the moon. Now, we can't see the face of the moon here. It's in so-called shadow here, but not here. Now, how does infrared remove shadows? That's, that's not how it works. So whatever the lunar eclipse is, it's not a shadow. So very, very revealing. I had brought up before a long time ago, um, what if when those two things align properly, it is such a pure light that what looks like darkness is just something out of the range that any device our eyes can see, and a lot of people assume that as darkness, but it could be a pure light, you know, just like when no one can ever see the 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 eclipse of the the moon into the sun or going out of it. What if that's such a pure light that it actually looks dark to us? Using that, I, I don't know what you guys think. That's a good theory. Hey, uh, Angel, I'm kind of late to the party. Can you answer a question for me? Yeah, got. Okay, what do you got going here? Is this two Nikon uh, yeah. P1? Uh, nine hundred, nine hundred infrared, normal one thousand. Okay, so is it an infrared conversion or is it an infrared uh, filter? Uh, in, it's full spectrum right now. It's actually got no filter on it, but it's full spectrum right now. <sighs> Was this a, a did did you have this professionally converted? Yes. Yep. Yep. What did you use life life pixel? Yes, how do you know? Well I've I've had two cameras converted at life pixel. Oh did awesome. you yeah, did you choose awesome. so you went with full spectrum. I go with deep black and white on both uh both my cameras. The one that um is the, the you know, their top flavor, the the one that requires uh no post production alterations. Right, okay. So what, do they do? what do they do there? They they take the mirror off and then put something else. Well, there's a thing called a hot sensor, right? 
it yep. protects it protects the the CMOS sensor, uh, metal oxide sensor, from from the near infrared range. So they don't actually convert any camera to the far infrared. It's all done to the near infrared. But I was just curious. I didn't know you had two two P's. Right on, guy. That's on what's happening when he's pointing that near infrared and yeah, you know i miss so much of it I, I, it's morning here and we're loading trucks right now for the food trucks so i was running back and forth looking at, at what was happening so i i was gonna i didn't want to interrupt you guys uh, i don't really I, I so he's got two cameras and and this was real time of of the eclipse is that what was going on correct yeah, I don't know. I haven't gotten to see anything. I just sat back down. We lost a set of keys over here, and we're kind of scrambling, trying to figure out where they are. No, they're, they're he's live right now. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't answer that question dead wrong. I don't know what's going on. He's, I guess I heard that the, that the um, one camera picks up the shadow and one doesn't. I'm not sure which yes. is which. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's this one doesn't have a shadow, infrared, or full spectrum. And this one does I can't see the face of the moon here. And on this one I can clearly see the face of the moon. I'll drop back down and uh, make room. I just wanted to bring up about the light theory. Hey dirt, how you doing? I see you. Oh uh, boo boo. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I should do that same fucking thing tonight. I got the same setup. Yeah, that's, that's a good one, man. Uh, yeah. You should be able to see it where you're at. Yeah, it's right. Well, I got a lot of trees. I got to time it just right. I, oh. got a, I got a little opening. If I don't want to drive somewhere, if I do it for my house, I got to gotta watch it. But hey, I, I'm going to see if I come up with the same shit. You know, Katie was telling me that uh, while the sun and the moon were in the sky at the same time, that the the illuminated side of the moon did not make sense and the other day i was at hanalei bay watching sunset and it was it was the same day she said that and i look up at the sun i mean the moon and i'm like damn it's at least 45 degrees off from making sense at least that far and, and i i only had my phone i tried to video it but it, uh, it didn't come out real good. G'day, guys. G'day. Yo. So, uh, you guys are flat earthers, eh? Yeah. So, you are guys you don't really think that... Uh, Wait, are you a globe believer? You guys mm -hmm. don't think that this is... Uh, no, we'll see you later. So don't got time that. for that. <laughs> we got time for that bull crap right now. Currently debunking the globe, but currently debunking the lunar eclipse. Shadow. So. <laughs> Literally, it's right there on camera, man. Wants to debate while he's being destroyed right in front of his face. Right, moron. <laughs> you do not need any more distractions. <laughs> exactly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey Angel, it's hard to keep up with two cameras, eh? Plus the phone in your hands. <laughs> you always gotta like move a little bit, move a little bit. Adjust the phone, adjust the camera, adjust the camera, adjust the phone. <laughs> I know, it's pretty hard. When that guy came up, I was like, who invited cognitive dissonance, man? <laughs> hey, my bad. Don't worry. He's fixing to go down the gravity you, slide also, right now. We feel sorry for down the gravity slide. Bye. Whee! Won't hear from him again. I would love to know if it's heat energy or some kind of light. Like, what the hell is it? It's not definitely not a physical shadow. Infrared cameras don't remove physical shadows. Shadow. No shadow. Shadow. 
Na shara. Shara. Na shara. <laughs> Remember that episode of Simpsons where he's like going between um, America and Australia, whatever? Australia, America, Australia, America. Shadow, no shadow, shadow, no shadow. I was thinking it was uh, infrared radiation, right? But even that, this says uh, infrared cameras can't remove that. It would still pick it up. No, no, it's definitely not a shadow. It's just not. It's just not. And now we have two proofs, identical proofs from different locations. You did from uh, Australia, and I did it from. I, I can't remember if I was in. Baja, I think it was in Baja. I'd have to look on my camera, but yeah, I think it was in Baja. So for now, my best guess, it's either the the thing itself is acting up or is they're, they're aiming some some kind of light source at it that we just don't know no, about. I think, I think it's just a cyclical event that happens and the moon somehow like re-energizes or something. Something happens to the moon, it does it itself. But whatever it is, it's not a shadow. We know that now. After, hey. after this, doesn't it disappear for two and a half days, three days? Something like that? Mm, nah, it would still be around. Hey, I want to I wanna give the official uh, response. Nuh-uh. And <laughs> nuh-uh. And nuh -uh. All right, there. We got through that. Refraction. <laughs> Refraction and nuh-uh. Yeah. Uh, a angel. Can, am I 